Welcome back to my channel. This weekend I drove up to Pismo Beach, a small beach town about three hours north of Los Angeles for a quick weekend getaway. And I have the top 10 things that you can do while you're up here. My own vacation got off to a very rocky start. I got a budget motel here in town and I drove up Friday night after work. I got here pretty late and there was no heat in my room. I was so cold. I slept in my clothes. I was just absolutely miserable. So Saturday morning I woke up and thought, why don't you just go home? <laughs> but the thing is, I always say, find your adventure. So I'm like, just think of this as an adventure. And I have had an absolute blast this weekend. So here are my top 10 things to do in Pismo Beach. Number one is the Monarch Butterfly Grove. That is the number one reason why I came up here. I wanted to see the Butterfly Grove and it was fantastic. I did a video on it and if you're interested, there is a link above. Number two, try some craft beer. I went to three different places and this one was hands down the best. Culture House Brewing Company brews its own beers in-house. They don't have a flight, but they have small glasses so you can make your own flight. I'm not really a beer drinker, so I asked the bartender to pick three options for me. He chose a dark, a light, and a hazy IPA. They were all good, but the hazy IPA was so, so memorable. It's their Sun and Shine, which has hoppy flavors of guava, peach, and apricot. But what I loved about it was that the flavor changed a little with each sip. It just got better and better. In addition to their own beers, they also host beers from other California craft beer houses. The bartender was friendly, he knew his beers, and he didn't mind answering any questions that I had. The whole experience was a lot of fun. Number three, the Oceana Dunes State Vehicular Recreation Center. Have you ever dreamed of driving your car along the beach? The sun is shining, top down, ocean spray, just you, your car, and the ocean? Well, you can't. It's illegal everywhere in California except here. Oceana Dunes is the only park in California where you can legally drive on the beach. I wanted to bring my Beetle here, but you need a four-wheel drive. Otherwise, this is what will happen. Next time, I'm renting a four-wheel drive. Number four, the Pismo Beach Golf Course. If you're a golfer, what could be better than playing next to the ocean? This golf course is a nine-hole, three-par public course open on a first-come, first-served basis. There's a clubhouse, club rentals, and a putting green. Number five, just walk along the beach. For me, there's nothing like walking on the beach, getting your feet wet, just enjoying the feeling of the sun on your head, the water at your feet, the sound of seagulls, children playing. I just love it all. But you don't have to be the one doing the walking. Once I saw these horses, I wanted to ride one but I couldn't find a riding ranch until after I got home. I have the link for you in the description box below. And next time, I will definitely be doing this. Number six, explore the Pismo Beach Pier. I'll admit, I didn't get a lot of photos of the pier. I was distracted by the surfers, the seagulls, the guy trying to feed the seagulls who was surprised when a seagull bit him. And in general, the view. The first night I arrived, I walked to the end of the pier where they had this Christmas tree. That was pretty cool. Here's a view of the pier from the Pismo Beach website. The original pier was built in the 1880s, but storms destroyed it multiple times. This pier was rebuilt in 2016 and reopened to the public in 2018. 
there's a plaza at the end of the pier with this huge Pismo Beach sign. Also, I want to stop and point out how we do snow in California. It shipped from who knows where, then put on the plaza with tape around it so you can look, but don't touch. That didn't stop these people, however. <laughs> there are information boards along the pier with photos showing its history. And while you're on the pier, number seven, you can watch the surfers. But if watching surfing isn't enough, sign up for some surf lessons. Right now, it's a little too chilly for me to want to get in the water, but in summertime, it'll be perfect. There are surf shops along the pier and plaza where you can buy or rent gear and sign up for classes. But if surfing isn't your thing, get a boogie board and go have some fun in the waves. While I was there, the town was preparing for the World Parasurfing Championships. They started the day after I left, darn it. There are also volleyball nets along the beach, so another way to have fun without getting wet. Number eight, explore the town and enjoy the local cuisine. Pismo Beach is a pretty typical small California beach town, which means it's got a lot of charm. There were these surfboards around town sponsored by local businesses and a lot of really good local restaurants to try. I had an amazing bowl of chowder at the Pismo Pizza and Chowder House, fish and chips at the Cracked Crab, tacos at the Pismo Cafe, and there were so many other choices. One thing is for sure, you will not go hungry here. Number nine, visit one of the many parks in the area. Pismo Beach has a lot of parks with choices for hiking, biking, walking, or picnicking. I stopped by El Duayan Ocean Park, which has great views of the ocean and the bluffs. You can take the steps down to Vista Del Mar Beach, where you can see the tide pools at low tide. You can see the wet sand from high tide. After that, I went to Dinosaur Cave Park, which has neither dinosaurs nor caves. All right, it has one dinosaur at the sign, but still, no caves. But what it does have is a fantastic view of the ocean and the cliffs, which leads me to... Number 10, watch the sun setting against the Pacific Ocean. I am never disappointed. This is Mother Nature's show for free, and if you miss it today, you can see it tomorrow. <laughs> so those are my top 10 things to do in Pismo Beach. And I am so glad I did not abandon my vacation <laughs> because of the miserable way I felt yesterday. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.